Okay, so hello everyone and welcome to my new tutorial. In this case I'm going to show you how to implement Discord Rich Presence. So you can show other players well, what are you playing here in the activity tab and you can show them well what level are you building, what level are you playing or pretty much everything more detailed than the default status which is um, geometry dash and the timestamp. So okay um, so you have to first uh, head up to the link I will give in the description uh, where you have to download this, this and these files gdrpc.dll, uh, discord rpc and clib1 uh, you have to download these three files and once you have to load them I already have them here so um, you have to download for uh, I'm going to explain it first for Jupyter Dash, and then I'm going to explain it for GDPSs. So I'm going to copy them. Um, I may go to wait. Um, all right. So you have to head up to the Jupyter Dash folder. Um, and paste them. Uh, well, it, it will ask you for, to replace one file only. I he's asking me to replace three because I already have it. But never mind. Um, what the heck? Oh yeah. Um, I guess I don't kind. Of well, anyways, I, I have the files here, here, and um, here. I already implemented. And I'll, I will delete this right now. So once you have these three files pasted, um, you can now run Jupyter Dash. It will generate this gdrpc.toml file, um, which is basically the settings of the of the gdrpc. The um, it's basically what you will display in your Discord account. So, for example, we see here the menu. Uh, we can change the little settles to menus, or here, for example, to display the username. It will display the name and the rank. Uh, so we can, for example, remove the rank, uh, as so I ain't any high rank, so it will display a super huge number. Um, Later on, for example, settings, file version, logging. Um, I, re I don't recommend to change this unless you are going to do it for a GDPS. Then the editor and pretty much everything. Um, I don't recommend you to touch this because it's already planned to use on GD. So, okay, so now you can run Jim3 Dash. Oops. Okay, so once we have done uh, launching Gem3 Dash, you will notice that our RPC will display in our profile. As you can see, I removed the rank and it says in menus Gem3 Dash. So if I enter, for example, into Stereo Madness, you know, it will show. What are you playing? In this case, by Raptor because it's uh, well, they are the main elements of the of the game. So, also if you wanna go here, for example, uh, future funk. I don't know the second one. I can start playing, and it will show my highest uh, percent. The level I'm playing, the um, the author, the difficulty uh, in this case in Saint Demon, and also the ID. Uh, it will also show. Wait, let me get to it. Uh, for example, I don't know the perfect signal. Uh, you can go editing it, and it will say editing a level, but you can edit it so it can, for example, show the name of the level you are editing. So I will show you how. You have to first exit GD. Everything you, I mean, as you're going to apply changes to the 
to the or PC, you have to close GD. It's just like that. So for example here it says um, editing a level so we can use um, our keyword between brackets called level because it will show the level I mean. It doesn't matter if I'm playing it or editing it. It will show the level name. Just that. So I save it. Uh, I run GD. And as you can see, here it's our rich present. So now we enter our level. For example, this, the perfect cyclical. Um, oops. Um, did it make it wrong? Um. Oh, sorry, sorry. Ah, uh, my bad. It is uh, the keyword is in level. It's called name. Sorry, sorry. Ah, uh, my bad. All right, so I'm gonna exit GD. Um, I'm gonna run it again. All right. So it's launching. All right. So our rich presence once again. Um, if I go to the perfect circle, it will show the level I'm editing. GFC. Um, so you can use these kind of keywords to edit uh, your rich presence. Okay. So this is for GD. I'm now going to explain this for GDPSs. Alright, so I'm going to explain it now for GPSs. Um, go ahead to the uh, folder where you have the world previously, the DCLLs, these uh, libraries, and you have to copy them. It's uh, almost the same process as before, but now you have to um, go uh, paste them, replace, you have to replace this file, and now you're gonna run it. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, and uh, you can't run GD. You have to open this gdrpc.toml file. You have to edit it. And here, where in settings, where it says executable name, you have to change the name for the file that it's in here. For example, this is called uh, WGDPS by Wiley. So I have to change it to GDPS. Um, WGPS by Wiley dot exe. Don't forget this. Uh, so uh, because this will fetch the this will uh, search for the executable that it's in in the folder called geometry dash dot exe. But we are making for GPSs, so it has to be like that. Also, where it says base base URL. You have to change it for the URL that your GDPS is hosted. For example, uh, WGPS is hosted in W uh, in this in this direction, this URL. So you have to get the URL of the GDPS, the main. Like remove everything. Wait, let me explain it. Um, HTTPS. You have to write uh, this URL, but uh, you have to make sure to remove, for example, this. That base has to be removed. It's just the the domain itself, you know. Okay, so um, also, if you wanna, uh, okay, let me show you. Let me save this. Um, in my head. Okay. Okay, so wait, what? Oh, well, that's interesting. Okay, let me edit this. Um. Okay, so I guess you can hear me now. Um, I want to say something important that I haven't said in the video. Um, it's that uh, where you have to replace the euro, the domain for the GDPS. You have to put HTTP not HTTPS. You have to remove the S, uh, else it will 
happen something similar to what happened to me, like the game will crash when you try to run it. Alright, so um, it will show our uh, uh, rich process, but it's called Geometry Dash and it has GD icon. So if you want to change it, you have to head up to here to this file. Um, and well, not really. Uh, you can close it meanwhile. Uh, we can also close Geometry Dash. Wait. Okay. Um, you have to head up to Discord Developers, Developers, Discord Developer Portal, and you have to create an application. In this case, I have I have already created one called Wiley GDPS. So, um, I'm gonna run this again to show. All right. So here, where it says Geometry Dash, um. Uh, you can change the name here in the general information you can change the name so if you say wireless GDPS it will show wireless GDPS right here um, also the icon this one okay, you can change it but I also recommend to to um, also upload this asset called logo it has to be called logo um, um, there's nothing really more, but I think that with changing this icon is more than enough. So uh, once we have done that steps, change the name and upload the uh, the photo. You have to copy the application ID. Open the gdrpc.toml file, and here we we're in the settings where it says application ID. You have to delete this number and paste yours the your number that you have just copied from here it has to match obviously so yeah now you can close this and this too alright so we can save it uh, close it we have to restart GD so we close it and open it again Alright, so now it will display our GDPS, while the GDPS and our icon. So, well, if you wanna add a rank two, you can like. However, it might not work like right now, you know, because well, it that depends. It now depends on which database are you using, like Voltron or whatever. Mm, because this is not really Robert's uh, server, like this is something actually different that it doesn't work like the original, but yeah, it works mostly. So, I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Um, that's pretty much if you got any question, uh, did you well, or some step that you don't understand, you can ask me the questions in the comments. Sorry. So that's pretty much everything. Bye. In my head. Yeah. All of these, all of these racing cars. So shiny and fast. Wanna be, wanna be shooting stars.